Hi everybody, we're going to do a Q&A. We're going to talk a little bit today about the Drapper's Ascot 2-ply cloth. So it's a high twist wool in 8 ounces. And you know, I'm a big fan of the Drapper's 4-ply. I don't wear the 2-ply as much, but in Hong Kong weather like today, when it's boiling, boiling, boiling hot, like the 2-ply really does have a good place in your wardrobe. Um, I wanted to shoot this on video because, you know, given the weight of the cloth, like it really is going to... In photographs, if, the, if you're not caught at the exact right moment, at the exact right angle, it could look a little bit wrinkly. But when you see it on video, you get a sense of like, okay, the cloth is like, it's light, it's not necessarily like super pliant, like it's gonna show wrinkles a little more, but not necessarily in a bad way either. And at least by seeing it on video, you get a, a truer sense of that. You know, so what I'm talking about is like, for instance, on the trouser here, like just a little bit of wrinkles in the front, you know, with such a thin cloth, like you, you really, have to accept that like a little bit of imperfection here and there is just part of the whole story. But in general, like I think it is neat enough, right? Like because it's high twist, because it has a little bit of spring in it, like it will keep its shape quite well. It actually keeps creases extremely well as well. Um, and it's got a very dry hand. You know, it feels really cool. Uh, it feels very not sticky, you know, because that's an important thing. Like in humid weather like today, you really want to avoid cloth that's going to feel sticky, right? All right, so there we go. Drapper's Ascot. The book is split between the two, four, and six ply. So the front section is the two ply, and the two ply is an, is an eight ounce cloth. The particular one I am wearing right now is this. So that is the gray and black hound's tooth. They also do a darker version that's a little bit more charcoal-y. I really like the brighter version. I think the brighter version is super interesting. Um, they do a lovely couple of Prince of Wales, especially in the light and the medium grays. The pinstripes are good as well, especially that. And it's a little, a little more casual, actually, because you see that little bit of kind of light blue striation in the cloth. I think that makes a really nice difference, just makes it a little more interesting. The gray pinstripes are really good. These two here. And then, you know, if you're making odd trousers, like these do make for pretty good summer odd trousers. Um, I actually really like that particular shade. It's kind of taupey shade. The cream is not bad. It's gonna show a little bit. It's a little bit sheer, but if you've lined it, it's not too bad. And then obviously all the standard colors that you might expect, like the medium grays and charcoals, all excellent, excellent for anyone's wardrobe. Now I wanna show you, you see this here? Now we've gone to four ply. Four ply is 12 ounce, and the two ply is eight ounce. And I'm not sure if this will come out on the camera, but like four ply just has a little bit more body to it, right? Like if I was to pick a three season suit, like something that's gonna work for me, other than in the coldest or the warmest, more missed months of the year, I would pick the four ply. But if I was primarily concerned about picking a fabric for the summer months, I would pick the two ply. And hopefully you can get at least a sense of like how those cloths are gonna move from the little video we just did. Alrighty, if you're interested in placing an order for something made in two ply, it's always available in the store. Just come by, let us know. Um, a lot of the Italian made to measure factories are about to close for the August holidays. So there might be a little bit of a delay in terms of orders, but if you're ordering with something like Ring Jacket, um, then our delivery times are still as normal. That is it for now and thank you for watching. <laughs>